Could you tell me something about the, the sock routine? Sure! Our, li our live concerts, we wear socks on our cocks and balls. And just, just because we want to and just because it feels good and it looks good and it, and it sounds good. And, it's hot. Uh, it's, it's wet, it's sweaty. It's after we've played a gig already that we've put them on our cocks and balls, so it's a bit sweaty, really. <laughs> If you ask me, some of the best music in the world comes out of Hollywood today. Bands like Fishbone, Thelonious Monster, X, Firehose, not to mention uh, Tom Waits. All the greatest music is coming right out of Hollywood. It must have something good about it. I think there's a special energy in the air. It blows in from the desert. We grow up like wild animals on the streets of Hollywood, and we just have a lot of different influences. And we suck it all up like a big chocolate milkshake, and then we fart it out in music. Yeah. And, it just, and it just contains a lot of different elements. Some punk rock elements, some funk elements, some soul elements, some rock and roll elements, and some, uh, you know, some puke. You never know. Yeah, so puke. 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 puke is vomit. your basic yuppies, really. I think we're just your average yuppies. Uh, he's, got a, he's got a BMW convertible. He drives a rabbit. I've got a Toyota Corolla. And, um, you know, we just want to make some money. We're hoping if we can just get this music thing going and sell a couple of records, we can get some jobs as accountants. Or perhaps see, we're all going to go into real estate and get into this real estate thing and, and build up our, our whole concept. I've got, I've got a, a great deal of stock in the Lacoste Shirt Company. And I'm hoping that that'll really be my, my future. And I'm so hoping yeah. to make enough money to invest in Wall Street journals. So Malcolm McLaren is a knucklehead. He's a what? He's a knucklehead. Uh-huh. He, he, you know, he wanted to change our music. Uh -huh. And we don't change our music for anybody, let alone a knucklehead. He's a good talker, though. He just might talk into it one day, but not us. I've heard that you are big uh, Beastie Boys fans. Is it true? It's not true. It's not true. Probably the reason you hear that, you're probably being a little sarcastic with that question. You probably think that we really hate the Beastie Boys. We don't really hate them, we just don't like being compared to them because we see no reason for it. Possible to break, break America. America for you to break you? America? Yes. To break it in half? No, to to have success in America. Of course, we're very successful in America. Yes, but maybe we play can... in stadium and you know. Well, we can't complain because for five years we've been making music, and for five years we've been able to feed our mouths, we've been able to put roofs over our head, we've been able to make our families happy, and we really can't complain. I think we've achieved an amazing level of success. We've got three records, and I think they're three very good records, and we've played for a lot of people. We're going to continue to grow and change, and who knows what could happen with you know commercial success. That isn't why we make music. We make music because we like to make music, and we like people to enjoy it. We like to make people happy. So I think we've attained a very high level of success thus far. See this? I'm getting a rash that I get every tour. So I want, I want to see that rash from sweating. It's a heat rash, nothing else. No, I've never exposed it. Nothing but more, nothing less. It's simply a heat rash. A heat rash. Don't believe anything else. 